Let's go. Get up, get up, and they got go. First test is going to be how easy is it to fold up and carry it down the stairs. Well, folding mechanism is pretty easy. And it does have the latch that latches the handles to the back of the scooter. That makes a big difference. Let's see if I can carry this with one arm. That's the test. Oh yeah. I think maybe this should be one of the um, requirements for the commuter scooter is that you can one arm it down the stairs. This is not that easy. So this is the in motion climber. It's the only dual motor commuter scooter that we're testing. We're testing this versus the High Boy brand versus the Team G brand. And I'm just gonna test them on my regular chores since I'm forced to use the stairwell, since it's gonna be broken for another week. And I wanna get into the commuter scooter business anyhow. So I thought this would be a good way to start it. What is happening fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve, you're watching ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. So you heard that right. I wanna get into the commuter scooter business since I know this is like a high, this is the type of scooter that is the most purchased. I think they sell more commuter scooters than any other type of scooter out there. I have so many of them. I'm sorry, I get them and then I sell them on Facebook Marketplace. So there's really no money in reviewing or using commuter scooters for me, but I've decided I want to find one good commuter scooter brand and promote that. Get an affiliate link for that with or without a bonus code. I'm not sure if I can get a bonus code. But this is the in motion climber. This is the only dual motor commercial scooter on the market as far as I know. And it's really designed to get you up hills. So what makes something a commuter scooter? I'm not sure. I think we're going to say commuter scooters are usually a scooter that goes no faster than 25 miles per hour. God. A commuter scooter is a scooter that goes no more than 25 miles per hour that has, I would say, usually 10 inch tires or less. They usually have nine inch tires. They usually have pretty simple braking systems. In this case, it's got a single mechanical brake with some electrical assistance. So we're definitely gonna rate the scooters on different things. Acceleration, speed, performance, brakes. So this is a fresh scooter right out of the box. But I'm looking forward to comparing this to a few other scooters and we'll narrow it, I'll, I will narrow it down to a scooter that I like, that I can recommend. And uh, I'll try to get a bonus code for it, of course, but if not, I'll just be an affiliate link. But I think I'm gonna start riding commuter scooters a little bit, especially for a personal thing. I've been thinking about it a lot, like what makes it a commuter scooter? To me, a commuter scooter means you could have walked the distance, but you just didn't want to, right? In most cases, you're going less than a mile. They often call the commuter scooter the last mile solution. This scooter's got some pep in it for a pretty slow scooter. I think the top speed on this scooter is like low 20s, maybe 22 miles an hour. It does have great acceleration compared to the other commuter scooters because of the dual brakes. Look at this guy just hanging out here in the middle of the street, waving me on to somewhere. Is he challenging me to a basketball game? We're going somewhere to eat, I'm not sure where. I would rate commuter scooters on suspension, but it seems like they either have no suspension or very little. They're just very stiff. Commuter scooters are best used on just flat, nice, easy grounds. Although, like I said, this climber here is good for getting up hills. I'll take us up some hills on the way home because basically every, everything around here is a hill. You need a good hill climber. I think the other commuter scooters I have can also climb the hills with, with just one motor, but they're probably slower. And there's a chance that the um, the high boy might not be able to go up the hills. It's so very small. Well, I'm getting a big whiff of garbage behind this guy. Guys, should we eat at McDonald's? I'm seriously thinking about eating at McDonald's. I know I'm going to regret this, but let's go eat at McDonald's. Fuck it. I love McDonald's. I've been eating here for a while at least. Yeah, I don't know about this single braking system. It's really the only drawback to this scooter that I can see so far. We'll bring this puppy right in. Oh, I'm gonna order it online. We'll pick it up at the window. They're so fucking busy. Did you say 16.88? You got some uh, ketchup and barbecue sauce in there for me. Thank, thank you. Alrighty, guys. We shouldn't be doing it. Excuse me. Thank you. We should not be doing it, but we're eating McDonald's still. 
Wow, McDonald's is so freaking crowded. If I didn't have COVID going in, I definitely got it going out. All right, more commuter scooter chores. Let's go to Target. You can see, by the way, I have the lock on the deck. I don't want to have to carry anything. Oh, major zombie crossing. I mean, it's like, really is like a wall of zombies. You got to be really careful here. All right, we're going to Target. Let us through, zombies. Oh my God. I go left, they go right, I go right, they go left, they're right on top of me. Let's go, zombies. I have to charge this scooter too. I haven't charged it since I got it. It's definitely, I think with scooters, it's, it's, it's hard for me to say, oh, it's comfortable, but the more I ride something, the more comfortable it is for me, you know? I think it's like anything else. I think that when you get practice on whatever type of scooter it is, you're, you're most likely gonna like it. I mean, this is a small, small scooter. Feels like I'm zipping around here though. And I'm aware of the braking situation where I only have so much brakes and a lot of acceleration. It's kind of a dangerous combination. All right, we're closing in on Target now. Busy out here, you see all the zombies? They love Hollywood Boulevard. Nice thing about the scooter, a little scooter like this is getting them over curbs is so easy compared to a big scooter. Look at these fucking zombies. Oh, this guy right here is zombified. He doesn't even know. I'm coming. I'm going to see if they'll let me walk this around instead of tying it up. Maybe they'll let me walk it around. Let's try it. They'll probably tell me to put it in the corner, which is okay too. Hey, buddy. I don't want to screw with you. Can I walk this around with me? It's a small one. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks, dude. All right, now we know we can walk our scooter around Target, and I'll tell you what, I'm probably going to ride it a little bit, too. I just have a feeling I'm going to ride it. This place doesn't really have a lot of security. So, let's ride it in Target. <laughs> I don't want to be a jerk. <laughs> what do we need here? I need stuff. I know I need milk. I don't have a bag to carry anything in. So I think I have enough milk until I come back another time. But like, I don't even have a backpack on. I've been super, it was fucking super. I didn't realize I'd be down here, to be honest with you. I really do like fish food. Oh, non-dairy, ugh, I don't want that. There it is, regular fish food. Oh, they got the dirt cake. This is actually my favorite, okay. So we, we didn't know we came in here for ice cream, but we were picking up ice cream. All right, I've never stolen anything in my life, but I always grab a couple extra plastic bags. Is that considered theft? <clears throat> I don't know. Thanks, dude. See you next time. I didn't know I could bring the scooter in here. My other scooters are so big, I assume you can't bring them in, but that was really nice not having to uh, tie up. All right, guys, we'll see you at home when we carry this one up the stairs. All right, one more trip up the stairs. Easy mechanism. I like how it latches. This is just real important. All right, can we carry it up with one hand? I'm pretty sure we can. Let's go. All right, guys, that's that. I'll see you in the next commuter scooter. Hey guys, second round of local chores and second commuter scooter for the day. This is the high boy. S2R Plus. I know it's going to be the easiest carry down the stairs. It's the lightest of the scooters. Yeah, I'm looking forward to carrying this. Does this one clip on? I think it does. Oh, here it is. All right, it does have a clip on. Perfect. All right, let's see. How light is this? Oh my God. Now this is truly, <laughs> this scooter wins. The scooter wins in the carrying category for sure. Because man, this is, you wish your scooter was this light, but this scooter's gonna have power problems. I don't know if this scooter's gonna be able to get up the hills. I'm already relegated to the idea of I might have to walk home, because the trip down to Target, where I basically am just picking up milk, it's all downhill. I love how light it is. Easy locking mechanism, let's go. This is another one of these scooters with just one brake. I can already feel 
but the second it hits a hill, it's really struggling. Wow, this is, all right, so it takes a while to get up to speed. 10 miles an hour, 12. Oh shit, this Jeep is like barreling around the corner. Oh, I'm going too fast, fuck. <laughs> all right, sorry, it's going downhill. All right, so it's got the one brake thing. I don't love that, but it fucking, it's, it seems like it's working. Yeah, I'm never gonna love a uh, single brake scooter. All right, here we go. Feels pretty good. I mean, it's go doing good downhill. It's very, very small though. All right, we're just going to Target. I just need to pick up milk. Ever since I've learned Target will let me walk the scooter around the store, it's like a game changer for me. I was always tying up outside when I went there. Yeah, so in this video, I'm just trying to compare basically three commuter scooters. I still have the Team G G3, which is a kind of a much bigger commuter scooter. But this one feels good right now, I'll tell you. It's not, you know, we're going downhill, so let's see what the trip is going to be like on the way home. But I think uh, th this is a classic usage of a commuter scooter. You know my thoughts. I think you use a commuter scooter. Maybe you're just in some situation where you really do have like a two mile walk from your home to your office or something. Or you're just doing what I'm doing right now where I easily could have walked this right, right down the street, but I'm being lazy. So commuter scooter, it's got two purposes for people really going from like work to office or place to place. That's a really, a really whoa, what was that? Like a really controlled distance. Oh, it's a motorcycle. Anyhow, I'm, dude, I'm doing this. Look at all the zombies. Anyhow, I'm doing the classic, I'm too lazy to walk thing here. Oh, you know what's cool about a little scooter like this? I pick it up above the stairs just like this. Holy shit, this thing is light. All right, let's bring it into Target and get our milk. I think I'm getting used to commuter scooters because this doesn't feel as hard to drive as it did when I started earlier. I God, actually had a change of heart. I think I want to go get food. I didn't think I was hungry when I came out here, but now I'm feeling like I could eat Taco Bell. So we're going to have McDonald's for lunch and Taco Bell for dinner. It's fucking terrible. But let's, um, yeah, let's run over to Taco Bell, then we'll come back here to get the milk. A little bit of Hollywood Boulevard action for you here. I'm just jumping in the traffic like a jerk. God, it's busy out here. This is summertime. This is what summer in Hollywood is like. Major fucking zombie season. All right, 18 miles an hour. We only have a half a charge, too. Most of these commuter scooters I only took out of the box. I never tried. I haven't even charged them yet. I just unboxed them. Man, I don't know why I'm at Taco Bell. I'm not even fucking hungry. I just, I feel like I, might, I don't want to have to go home and then get hungry and come back out. Oh, man, look at these zombies. Good, good guy. That's so gross. You're all gross, you fucking zombies. Gross, gross, gross. <laughs> all right, let's get Taco Bell. Okay, I really am hooked on Taco Bell ever since they opened up this uh, Taco Bell Cantina down the street for me. Yeah, all right, so the, the main hill in front of us is probably 50% steeper than this. We're already really struggling going 13 miles an hour. Probably would be better if the scooter had more of a charge. Okay, one little push. Oh, man, we're going slow. I think it's going to do it, actually. I can kind of feel like it's going to do it. And the, this hill is actually not... This isn't really the worst hill. You can see there's a deeper hill in front of us. Maybe we'll try to go up that just for a tester. But I think this, if I can get up this steep of a hill on this scooter, it's fine. It's fine for the neighborhood. There will be some spots I'll have to walk. I mean, I'll show you like right here. I don't think the scooter can get up this hill in front of us here. Yeah, I mean, we're really slowing down as we reach the uh, peak of the hill. So I'm not even gonna stop for the stop sign. Let's see if we can get up this hill. I think we're just gonna have to turn it around. Yeah, nope. I mean, I could, but this feels like it's probably bad for the scooter. All right, so the scooter can probably do like 15 to 20 degree hills, but not like a nice, a full on 30 degree or more hill. Alrighty guys, that's two scooters. Next time I come back out here, I'm gonna be on the Team G G3. All right, folds real easy. You gotta like that. It flips on real easy. Yeah, I said it before, like you wish 
there was a powerful electric scooter that was this light. This is only light like this because it's probably the weakest scooter I've ever tried. It got up the hill though. Another commuter scooter, guys. This is the uh, Team G G3, so let's fold it up and carry it down the stairs. Oh, yeah. Very easy folding mechanism. Doesn't lock. The handle doesn't lock to the body, but it doesn't matter. I guess there's, you can use the tail as a handle. It's very nice. This is a commuter scooter, but I think it wants to be a dual motor scooter. It looks like it's built like a dual motor scooter with kind of like a BP suspension, although I don't think the suspension does anything. What I can tell I do like about it is it's got dual brakes, dual disc brakes. Our first scooter with dual brakes. Most commuter scooters only have one brake. So Team G, G3, commuter scooter, our third entrant into the war that's gonna decide what will be my official ESA commuter scooter that I will have a link for. Maybe a bonus code if I'm lucky, but at least a link. All right, I think this type of scooter, you can just put the handle straight up. I like that, I like that. All right, let's go. All right, this scooter right off the bat doesn't have a ton of acceleration like any other commuter scooter. I do like the dual brakes though, it gives you a little more sense of security. The scooter is called the Team G G3. And yeah, the impression I get about this scooter is, why do they make it so big if it's commuter scooter? It's got this weird, I'll show it to you. It's got this weird beefy front suspension that doesn't really provide any suspension. It's just bigger for the sake of bigger. But um, it's a cool looking scooter for sure. Like if you only seen a rental scooter before, and then you saw this, you would think this was like a pretty nice upgrade. Um, I think power wise, it's pretty modest. It doesn't have much juice. It's all right, let's see. I say that about a lot of these scooters. Let's, let's make this whole trip. You know we're going to Taco Bell because I'm just on a Taco Bell kick. I don't think Taco Bell's so bad. I just go and I get four tacos and a diet soda. It's practically like a diet meal. But I am definitely using the scooter in the way I think like a regular customer would where I don't want to walk to Taco Bell down here. I'd rather jump on one of my little scooters. So the question is, is which scooter are we gonna keep? The in motion climber, the high boy, was it S2R? Excuse me, sir, I don't wanna scare you here. Thanks, buddy. That guy was nice, some people are pissed. In motion climber versus high boy, S2R versus Team G G3. I have other commuter scooters. These are just like my three favorites. And I just wanna, compare these to each other and see which one I like. I mean, you know what's happening is, is the more of these that I ride, the more comfortable I'm getting on these things. It's an interesting thing, because a bigger scooter, there's a much, they're much, much, much more stable. So as long as it's a hard transition going from a, a, a big ass scooter to a commuter scooter. We got a little bit of a Mexican standoff going on here. Let's go, baby. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna go to Taco Bell, why not? I have, whenever I ride these little scooters, I feel like they're much less offensive to the cars. This one though has more of a look like it might be fast. It's not, but I think it'll go 25 maybe. It's hard to say. Hollywood's looking good. I'm sorry that I'm taking you to Taco Bell again, but you know, we're just, I like to promote my scooters with real life experience and shit. And this is part of my life to go to the same places over and over. It's part of my autism. I think I'm on the spectrum, at least when it comes to eating. I'm very picky and I only like certain foods at certain times and once I get it in my mind like I want Taco Bell, we're going to Taco Bell baby, we're going to get three crunchies and one soft. And I, 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 I try to order it without the cheese but they always put the cheese on so I've just started ordering it regular and taking the cheese off by hand because Taco Bell cheese, I mean what a fucking joke, it's not like it's melty or anything. Uh, we took the back route to get here, it's the easiest way to get to Taco Bell. Uh, let's beat the fucking zombies in. Uh-oh, look at the zombies. They're crouching down for their photos. Excuse me, zombies. Zombies, heads up, zombies. Excuse me, zombies. Excuse me, zombies. This is the real zombies. They got no English. All right, Taco Bell. All right, now for Steve. Uh, it wouldn't be Taco Bell if you didn't scream my name through that microphone. Thanks, brother. <laughs> you can't, the second you order in this place, they scream your name so they can give you your drink. And I still gotta wait for my food. 
All right, so that worked out pretty good. As usual, when I come out here on the commuter scooter, I got no backpack. So I just have to carry this shit home. I do like this scooter. It's my least favorite just because of the size. It's like less of a commuter scooter. It's trying to be a dual motor scooter. But I do like the way it rides. I haven't even talked about the prices of these scooters. I'm trying to keep that out of the formula. I'm just trying to figure out which one, like if I had to make, when I'm making my small little trips around town, which one do I want to be on? I already know what I'm leaning towards, to be honest with you. But I want to wait to have a big reveal episode. The winner of the commuter wars. This guy, the truck's just gonna fucking slam into me, you fucking prick. He doesn't know the way it works. Gotta make room for the commuter scooters. All right, guys, anyhow, so you see this thing is doing pretty good up the hill here. This is, this, it's hard, I don't really know what degree hill this is. I actually get an app that'll measure the hills for us. But uh, it's doing this hill pretty good. All right, guys, so that's the three scooters, the InMotion Climber, the High Boy, S2R Plus, and this one, the Team GG3. Next time I make a commuter episode, I'll take you on another chore trip, and I'll choose the one that I recommend. So, and honestly, I'll have an affiliate deal for that so I can make some money on it by recommending it, not just uh, making recommendations like I did for years with Dualtrons and make nothing. So, alrighty guys, that is that. Thanks for watching.